Hello, uh, it's another tutorial video uh, for rollerblade skates. Uh, this is a tutorial for how to take off and then put on a new speed lace system. It's like a drawstring that you pull your skate tight and then you can tighten it up like that. Uh, it comes on the Macro Blade 100, the 110, uh, and then also this skate, which is the Zetra Blade Elite. Um, but if you have any of the macro blades or any of the Zetra blades, you can do this um, same, use the same tutorial to put on a speed lace, even if the skate doesn't come with it. Because if you notice, all that speed lace system is, is a regular conventional lace with this little plastic piece on the end, which makes it kind of like a drawstring. So. Um, so I'm going to show you how to take it off and then how to also put it back on. So right now, skate came on with it. So say, I don't know, this broke or something like that, or you don't like the, the yellow color or whatever, and you want to buy the, the black ones off of our website. Um, this is how you take this off, and then I will show you how to put it back on. Okay, so uh, again, this is the Zetra Blade Elite. Uh, the men's, the women's also comes with one. I believe the one that comes on the women's is gray. Uh, and then the ones that come on the macro blade are black. Um, you know, it's all the same. Uh, you might want to check uh, with the specs on how long the laces are because I believe that the, the macro blades are slightly longer than the Zetra blades. I can't be mistaken. I'd have to actually look at the specs. Um, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to customer service. That's me uh, at rollerblade.com. Um, okay, so let's get started. Uh, so we're going to do this Velcro strap here just to kind of get it out of the way, give me some room to work. Um, we're going to pull that out. And so this is the, the speed lace system. I don't know if you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plastic piece and just pull it down uh, just to get it out of the way and to give me some space to work. Because you'll see this is the laces sticking out of this like it's fake leather. I'm not sure exactly what it's made out of. It's, it's some kind of a synthetic leather. Um, so I'm gonna pull this out and you're just gonna notice that it's all it is is two ends of the lace tied in a knot. And all this does, this little fake leather piece, all it does is just kind of give it a little pocket for that to sit in and just kind of make it more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so this, it's tied in a knot. The two are tied together in like a square knot at the top. All you're gonna do is just undo that knot both sides and then you'll just see that all it is is just a regular lace system so what you can so what you're going to do now is you're going to take this leather piece or fake leather piece we're very animal friendly here um you can take that off and now that's gone and so this leather or this plastic piece i'm sorry uh this is the drawstring the part that kind of locks the lace uh all you're going to do is this is one piece here and one piece here and they just pull apart just like that so i'll show you a close-up of it so that's the top piece that goes into this piece all right um, so once that's apart all you're going to do is take this out might be a little bit of a tight fit that there's one there's the bottom and like I said, all you'll notice, all it is, is just a regular lace. So it just laces up the skate as usual. Um, and that's it, it comes to the top. Um, and then it just kind of goes through the, the lock system, which is right here, it's this two piece system right here. Um, so let's just pretend I'm undoing all the laces, took this one out, throw it away. And then we relace it again as a standard lace you know, as you would lace any shoe or skate or anything like that. Um, so you're just back to normal, just to pretend we did all that work. Um, and all we're gonna do is take these two ends and you're gonna feed it through the bottom piece first. If you notice here, you see there's little holes in the bottom, laces just go right up through that. Push one end in, push the other end in that side. Same thing with this top piece. Doesn't matter which way it goes, it's symmetrical back to front. Um, and then you're just gonna lace, there's two holes on that one. 
right there. You're actually gonna lace in, uh, lace in through these bottom holes. So up through it. One side. Bit of a tight fit. There's the other side. So now you're together, right? Out of the way. And that just has like little notches in it and you just push it in, might take a little bit of force. And then you're together and that's it. So your lace system is now together. This is the drawstring system. You can pull that tight to tighten your skate up, release it as usual. And then to get this back in, all you're gonna do, you see on either side, maybe you can kind of notice it, maybe open it up a little bit, there's little holes. All that's gonna do is sit like this and then the laces are gonna feed up in either side. It's just a little pocket thing. It might take a little bit of coaxing to get that lace to go through. Got that to pop out, pull that out. Same thing with the other side. Pop that out, pop that through. And so all you're gonna do is take these two ends of the laces, wrap them around your finger and just tie a little, just a simple knot. That's all it is, tie them to get together. And pull tight. And then that leather piece, fake leather, kind of comes up like that and is now your speed lace system is now fully intact so again you can do this on any of our soft boot skates really so um, probably not the the blade runner advantage pro it might work i haven't tried it uh, but i know for a fact it'll work on any of the zetra blades or any of the macro blades for sure so uh, if you have any questions just contact us rollerblade.com always happy to help so take care